Hi, everybody. Welcome or welcome back if you're a returning guest. You're here at Elevated Living with Z and I am Z. And today we are going to do a raw um, Reiki infused dish um, starseed um, energy video. So, and the reason why I'm saying this is going to be a, a raw starseed energy video. So, if you've been here before, you know that I like to do a lot of these connecting to Mother Earth. I like to connect to the stars, whatever things are out there, planetary constellations, and all that, you know, of that nature. I like to fully connect and then bring it in and do healings with it. I will open up chakras, I will pull, pluck, and you know, um, do whatever I got to, you know, whatever I'm feeling, whatever healing is going on. But in this case, we had one of our beautiful followers ask a very legitimate question. <clears throat> so she asked, can you help star seeds with what's going on right now? You know, once the karma's cleared, once we've done our work, once we feel we've hit the shadow work and we're still just not feeling at home or we're feeling down, is there anything we I can do to help us feel, to help us be more protected or feel better? So, the reason this is going to be different is I'm looking for any further answers for that, okay? And um, I'm gonna be sending, while I'm in this mode, when I go into the next phase, which is my channeling mode, or my holding energy mode, I am, um, I'm thinking that I want to expand energy and send protection around our energy field and our personal self for all of us star seeds while we're here on earth to block out a lot of this earthly lower vibrating energy that's going around not just right now but all the time and I would also like to bring in a lot of the star energy into our aura and in through not just our crown chakra but the chakras above that kind of today i don't want to work on the seven earthly chakras but i want to work probably on the crown chakra a little bit but on the chakras the four chakras that i see that are above that so that is what i'm going to do for star seeds as far as protection energy and healing but before i do that ah, who knows it's you guys before i do that i did get a message right away when i read this message from my star seed friend and um, I want to let us know it's not a good message in, in essence because it's not what we want to hear, but it's the truth. So for us star seeds who think, when is it over? <laughs> Never. <laughs> when we go back home. <laughs> because our problem here on earth isn't that we always have karma to clear or there's always something, there's always the next thing from the past and stuff like that. But the, as star seeds, we always are going to feel out of place. Um, until we get home. <laughs> That's just part of our ailment. And it's not just that, you guys. Think about this. It's not just that we feel out of place because we're here, but there's always work for us to do. We're here for a purpose. We're here to help solve problems from a higher perspective on earth, from a higher, you know, vibration, and send, and, and sometimes not even solve problems, but hold that higher energy for the people around us so they can catch up and sometimes that is our job and that alone is so heavy so uncomfortable so 24 7 but we got to do it it's what we do so that's part of it you know that was the and and see you guys right now i'm just this telling you guys my channeled messages that i got prior and prepping for this video and in answering the starseed question of can't how can we help ourselves or can I make a video to help? So this is my video to help, this is my response. But before that, this is the answers that I got from my angels, my higher selves, is that we're here to work. Baby, the work is never done. Clearing our karma is just giving way and room for us to be present in the moment and on earth so we can really do the work of helping. And that might be even harder than clearing karma when it comes to energy. You know, but we, by this point, by have, having already dealt with our shadow selves and clearing our karmic experiences here on earth so that, you know, as a star seed, we can help those, those around us, you know, and help ourselves. You know, once we've done that, 
we have practiced for the next and the next step. So I hope this pre-intro to what's coming, the raw Reiki energy, um, helps already. I don't know if I'll get any more channel messages and talk after the video, but um, when I go into my channeled state, I'm reminding you guys, I'm going to pull in star, star energy through the four chakras that I see that exist above the crown chakra. Then I'm going to work a little bit on the crown chakra. Um, and I'm also going to expand some protection, some star, um, well, some love light energy protection, but I'm going to expand the star seed. I'm going to expand the heart love energy so that it, you know, a star seeds have a, you know, block wall to the things that are coming in, the lower vibrating energies. And rather than it bringing us down before we can lift us up, we immediately lift it up by way of our nature. So that's kind of what I'm going for in this one right here. Um, some general housekeeping. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time I make a video, also hit the little bell. That would mean everything to me and any of your favorite YouTubers who you love to see more videos of or who you'd love more people to see more videos of. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys and um, I will see you guys in my channel today. Just in a few seconds. Sorry guys, before I go into a complete channeled state, uh, my brain wasn't letting me breathe. So I found a lot of constellations I wasn't connecting to very well, but Mars energy is what's out there. I sent you guys a little picture. I mean, I posted a little picture for you guys, and I also sent you the sky map with all the energies that we're working with. I had almost forgot to tell you guys, and oh, I couldn't get into a channeled state until I do. It's weird. All right, now I'll really see you guys on the other side.
Hey guys, Whew. I'm back on the other side. You guys see me moving around a lot. I'm back in the spot where there's a bunch of ants. <laughs> they love to come out when I'm out and then chew on my feet. <clears throat> so, one of the first things I want to talk about on this side of things is the first thing that I heard. So, um, it was like I, when I was there, at first nothing, blank. Whew. And then out of nowhere, I got a huge response saying, hey, it's the same thing I'm seeing week after week after week. We are here to help. Our starseed families, the same angelic families, they're the same, starseed, angelic family, and all that realms, the dimensions, all the higher beings are here to help. We just need to ask and tell them what we need and how we feel and the problems that we are being presented with as human beings, you know, and they're here to help us with that. And they said, you know, <clears throat> a lot of um, us human star seeds right now are experiencing earaches, headaches, lack of sleep, waking up in the middle of the night, and then at two, and then at three and four and five. It's because our radios, our new uh, adaptivity to our higher friends, our higher dimensional families is being activated. And th this is going to go on for quite some time, many, many years, I think. Um, and um, it's just being activated and the radios are being adjusted. And um, that is exactly what's going on um, with a lot of us, our bodies. I believe that's why a lot of people right now aren't making it. And I mean like surviving life is because they don't want to be here no more. They miss their families or their radios just aren't tuning in properly to the energy that's happening right now. So that's a few things going on that I heard. We need to learn to ask for help. We need to know what's going on. We need to be aware that when we're being woken up, that it, that, that is those are the moments that they're trying to tune in with us. And we need to ask, hey, what do you got going on? What do you want me to know? Is everything okay? Can I hear a message? Can I open something up? So then they let me know that I needed to go as far as the third eye or anything I'm doing here is never going to be interpreted properly into the you know, physical realm. So this channel here is what interprets everything from the top coming in. So while I was, and so that now let's go to the other part. So this is the mental, the channeling, what I was hearing and what was going on. So for the body part, I, I was able to get a fully, full on imagination of Mother Earth as a tree wrapping around our feet and then spreading. I don't know if any of you have seen the Avengers, like Groot, <laughs> when he protects them from being hurt. But kind of imagine that I met, saw Earth wrapping around a star seeds like that, saying, I've got you. You're here to help me. I'm going to help you, kind of thing. And then in that bubble, I was pulling heart love energy and all these beautiful light uh, particles that were coming in and through me at the moment i was just spreading them into that space and expanding that and making sure that it swirled all around to protect us and keep us vibrating at a level that we are reflecting and deflecting anything lower vibrating or negative that isn't supposed to come our way so now let's go next um ah um it was next so the the opening up so then like i said i worked on the crown chakra a little that's when i started to get the information that i needed to open the third eye so i got to opening the third eye so that all the information that was coming in could be channeled and understood properly so i opened the third eye i opened up the crown chakra and then i worked on the four chakras that i believe sit on top of it like the way that i see them is one's very pink one is very like platinum um, you know, like silver, uh, uh, gold, and platinum. That's the way that I see them. Um, they could be totally different colors. It's just the way that I'm able to visualize them so that I can work on them, and it's very effective for me. And um, in those channels is what I believe all the different star seed energy comes through, all the different levels of higher beings come in, and um, that's going to come in and through, and that's why I opened it up. And also, for those of us already ready for this, I aligned what I believe to be the master antenna that connects us to our starseed families. 
So like I see that the inside of the crown chakra somewhere in this space, I felt like there was an energy alignment um, that needed to happen. Best way I could describe it, it's the antenna that allows the frequency of our higher beings to come in and through. Uh, I mean, our higher, you know, uh, uh, starseed families um, and all their energy and what they have to say to us to come in and through. So I kind of, in my mind, for us, adjusted and aligned it and put it in a proper, open, you know, kind of searching, you know, I imagine it's searching for, you know, the wavelengths of our starseed families. And I kind of connected it directly to our third open, now open third eye, so that we can receive the information and uh, properly translate it. So, that's a lot. But for those of you interested in that starseed stuff and starseed information, this is the video for you. So it's definitely an eye opener and a heart opener for me. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling really, really hungry. It's super late, but I'm gonna go have me a snack. <laughs> That's just the way I felt after this uh, video. I felt really, really like in need of a fill up. So you guys, I really wanted to just say thank you for all of my supporters. Oh, it's got bit by a big old black hat. Okay. So to all of my supporters and the, you guys that I love, you know, so much. Um, I'm loving your emails, loving your messages. I'm loving your responses. Um, I'm working more hours now, about 50 a week. So if I take a little longer to respond, I'm sorry. But I will always respond. It doesn't mean that I don't want to hear. It just means that I've got a little bit more going on. And it's okay. We're using the money to fund some really amazing things. And um, and, and make things grow. So it's really no big deal. Um, I wish you guys nothing but love. And stay well. Stay healthy for me. Stay positive. Because remember a lot of the things going around are fear activated. So just stay positive and healthy in your mind. And that's going to keep your body and the physical realm healthy too. Um, I think that's all I have to say for tonight. Um, enjoy your week, weekend, or whenever you're seeing this. And um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Big hugs. Mm -hmm. Big kisses. And until the next one.